need to quickly run you through um, multiple rainbow of analogy. And um, before we get started, this is our screen, screen line, which is in um, line picture. So we're going to click on analysis. So we will be using um, Axis Pro for this um, analysis. And then we search for multiple ring buffer. So we have a multiple ring buffer here. So it says input feature. We're going to input the feature to which we want to buffer. So this is the feature we want to buffer. Then OK. This is the suggested name. It's free for us. So we might decide to leave it. We'll just make sure that it is um, inside the, um, the project um, database we are working with. So we're going to leave it at that. Then we have our distances. Um, the distances can be in meters, can be in kilometers, and it can also be in, um, in any unit of measurement. So well, we'll be working with meters here. So um, we want a distance of 500. We'll add another. We want a distance of 1,000. We have another distance of 2,000. 2, we have another distance of, um, say, 5,000. 5,000. So depending on the objective of your work and what is needed, that is what will determine your distances, the, the distance of measurement you will be needing. Um, so the distance unit, that is just like I said earlier, the, the unit of your measurement or distance measurement can be from, let's say, kilometers, meters, feet, decimeter, uh, and decimal degrees rather, sorry. Um, we also have inches, we have feet, we have points, we have yards. But here we're using meters. We're using meters. So this criteria, this criteria is okay. So we're just going to click on run. So it shows that it is running over here. So we have other um, tools for buffer. So we have this single buffer um, icon here for us to do just a simple buffer. But this one allows us to input multiple criteria for buffer. All right, why well, we wait for it to load? Okay. Okay. All right, this is our buffer streams. So let us um, zoom in a little. Let us zoom in, let us zoom in. All right, this is the stream. This is line picture, the river. And this is uh, the first 500 meter buffer that we set for it. Sorry for the breaking transmission over there. All right, so just like I said earlier, we'll be converting to raster. Polygon. Polygon. So, raster. so we're going to be, since this is in polygon format, so we're going to be converting it into a raster. In case you want to do weighted overlay, or any other analysis that involves the use of a raster file. So we are going to use the polygon, the polygon um, um, buffer for our input feature here. And we're going to set our value feed. We're going to set our, our value feed. We're going to set our value feed to distance. Then also, just like I said earlier on, the output raster data set, you need to navigate to where you want your output raster data set to be stored. So let us um, let us name it um, 
small okay does name it river river raster so this is also important to name it what you can easily remember so that when you're trying to pick any criteria you'll be able to identify it easily so um priority field our priority field is the distance that we want so we can leave this cell size depending if you have um, a DEM that you're working with or any other um, raster file that you can use to set your cell size. So I have in here with me, um, okay. I have, um, okay, let us use uh, slope. Let us use our slope um, cell size for this um, analysis. So click OK. Let us uncheck this so, so that we can see the raster file perfectly. Okay. Now we can clearly see. Um, All right, we're back. Um, okay, so we have um, the raster data set here. Oh, sorry. We have the raster data set here. Sorry. We have it here. So this, this is it. So we are going to mask, we're going to clip out the areas that we don't want, that we don't want in our work so we we'll still go back to analysis to go to the to, to bring up an interface here okay let's try it analysis go to tools now here we we'll type extract by masking so we we'll use extract by masking to clip out or extract by mask rather i don't you use extracts by mask to extract raster files so we're going to clip out this, our river, our river raster. We're going to clip it out. So, um, okay. Also, it's asking for, it's asking for our input raster or future mask data. So what do we want to use to mask this area? What do we want to do to cut out this area? So we. We're using the shape file of the area that we are working with, which is Amuwa Dolphin, the government area. So we're going to use it to mask. And also, just like I said earlier, remember to save your work in your database. So we're going to use, name it masked. Okay. We're going to use um, okay, masked river. Masked River. Save it. Click run. It is showing this sign here because I've done it before. So we're just going to update it. Okay. Let's close this area. So it is extracting. So we're just going to be left with this area. We're going to connect with this area here. So we put this area. All right. The instruction is completed. All right. You can see. We have it maxed out already. This is the area that we're working with. It is already maxed out already. So always make sure you work with your area. And then when buffering, remember, it depends on the work specifications on the uh, distance um, on parameters you'll be using. So, and also remember, you need to convert to raster if you need to work 
uh, uh, work with the raster file, we need to convert to raster and then max and extract the raster by masking. You max out the area that you're working with. I hope you enjoyed this session. Thank you very much for joining me.